Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to FA 110 Lecture Series and this video is the series number one. The first chapter is on introduction to accounting. Uh, <clears throat> we can say that the business can be defined as an organization that provides the goods and services to others who want or need it. Uh, the product and services. So the accounting comes where we provide an information to those who are needed uh, the information, whether it will be useful for them directly or indirectly connected to that organization itself. So the information provided should be useful to assess the performance of the manager and also the positions of the organizations. So the definitions of accounting is the process of identify, record and classify the business transitions whereby this uh, business transition will then be summarized into a monetary units for the interpreting and communicating to the interested users. So these are the definitions that has been taken from the book of Siti Nur Hayati et al. So as I said just now, the, the definitions including classify, recording, summarize and interpreting. So these are the actions that we are going through in accounting. So the three basic of uh, activities of account is identifications, record and communicate. Identify means that you would like to know which transactions that need to be recorded and the activity second is to record that business transactions and the third we will uh, summarize it into a report to communicate that business transactions that we have record to the interested users so these are a uh, purpose of accounting identify record and communicating so the history of development of accounting start from in 7,000 years ago, whereby it comes from Egypt, where the Babylon and Greece and Rome started. And the uh, the greatest interest of bookkeeping uh, is actually a rise in the Renaissance period. Uh, and the uh, formerly has been produced by uh, Luca Pacchioli in 1400 in 1494 years where the Luca has been published uh, uh, his work on the double entry of bookkeeping. So in 17th century, the Bacchioli's work has been produced uh, to formulate the rules of double entry of bookkeeping and also the preparations of financial statement. Uh, in, in 19th century, uh, during the Industrial Revolutions, the, when the business are becoming expanded and the, led to the cost of accounting and so on. So they give rise for auditing purposes. So nowadays, we have lots of regulations and laws that regulate the um, businesses. So these laws need to be detailed inside the financial statement so that the financial statement presented to the, use, to the shareholders or the users that abide the law has been uh, arised. So the function of financial statement, first of all, is to record and control the business transaction. So don't, from the financial statement, we can uh, observe how they record and control a business transactions and to maintain the accuracy in recording and meeting the requirements of the law because the financial reporting standard said that um, the presentation must be in the manner and to be presented to the users, uh, to the shareholders. 
And the uh, another function of financial statement is to present how the final accounts to the owners of the businesses and also to facilitate how the efficiency in allocate, allocating the resources by the business. So the objective of financial statement, first of all, is to provide information for uh, decision making. So those who are, want to decide something for the business. So that is, um, first we will look into the financial statement. And the financial statement also provide information on the performance and the financial positions of that organizations and also to provide information to evaluate the stewardship, the management of the organizations. And in terms of um, depreciating between the accounting and bookkeeping, so actually the bookkeeping is a part of accounting where the bookkeeping um, refer to the mechanical aspect of accounting for the churches to record, classify, and summarize the business transactions. So it's a very tedious part, actually part of the uh, record, um, accounting part. Eh? So the involves um, amount, of the, the source of revenues and expansion, uh, expenses or transactions, and the um, the data that from bookkeeping will be extracted so that the financial information or financial report can be prepared. So, however, the accounting is a bigger picture. Um, it comprises uh, the bookkeeping itself and also the auditing, the taxations, um, uh, and also the accounting information system. And accounting actually um, try to keep track of the data, including the people who key in the data and records all the data um, and analyze the results of the data entered. And also accounting, financial accounting gives reports and information uh, to the management uh, in order for them to make decisions. And uh, getting into part, who use actually the accounting data? Um, for internal users, because there are two types of users for accounting data, for internal users, for example, the marketing department will um, question what is the price should be for that product. Or in management, should any product be eliminated because um, probably the product shows that it's not profitable to produce anymore. Uh, or the finance department, uh, thinking whether uh, is there any cash sufficient to pay the uh, stock, uh, shareholders or the human resources, whether the employee can be paid for their bonuses for the year. So these are the questions for the internet users. And external users, for example, the creditors will question whether that customer can pay the debts when they come due or in the for the investor whether it is worth is it worthwhile um to stay investing for that company or the um, investor also have a questions which company is more profitable so Internet users, um, for example, the owners or the partners, usually will look into the profits earned or the financial stability or whether the company will be growing for the years to come. So th uh, they will try to find the information that could um, answer that particular questions. And the managers need the financial information uh, to plan, to organize, and on also to control the organization process. And employees um, wanted the financial information in, in 
ability for them to progress and expand in the organizations. For external users, for example, the financial institutions, they want to know whether the company that they give money to is solvent in the future uh, in the uh, and also whether it's solvent today, I mean the present time. And also we want to know whether there is sufficient earning capacity uh, so that the company is Will not be built. Uh, will not be bankrupt in, in the near future. Um, so and also, uh, external users, the prospective buyer or customer, also look into the solvency. It, for example, the customer bought um, a, a factory machines that cost one million ringgit, and normally the machines will be uh, maintained by the supplier means that the company that sell them the, the the machines so if the seller goes bankrupt so who will maintain that particular machine so they could probably face problem in the future so that's why if they want to buy a non-current asset a machines or a vehicles that uh, cost them a lot so they must ensure the seller is solvent in the present and also the future and the creditors okay, the creditors is not the same as the financial institutions because the creditors are looking into the short term period so creditors wanted to know whether the customer the one who has debt with uh, them whether they are able to pay the debts as it dues. Okay, the potential investor is another external user uh, will try to find the financial information that can uh, prove that company is worth for their investment. And the government, uh, one of the external users, uh, will seek the financial information uh, to um, to calculate the tax whether it's accurate or not the company has paid to the government and also in order for them to control the prices of certain products and the public also need financial information uh, uh, in terms of uh, to understand whether the company is supporting the corporate social responsibility for example um, uh, protecting the environment uh, fight the pollutions uh, um, for, um, and also um, uh, responsible more for the public and the financial statement uh, who use the financial statement? Because the financial statement um, will tell you where and how and when and why the money has been spent. Uh, they will, uh, in the financial statement, it shows. For example, um, financial statement will show the expenses of uh, advertisement. So we will know okay, why the money is spent due to the advertisement and where uh, it advertised and when uh, the advertised. So the financial statement also will help in evaluating the performance of the business. So we can see that whether the company is making profit and how the financial standing of that company. And also the financial statements can ensure the smooth running operations of the organizations so the role of accounting professions in the business first of all always remember knowledge of accounting is a very important in all fields especially in business as business owner or the manager you need the accounting knowledge 
to make a wise decision. So a wise decision must be relying on the accounting data. Even the professions such as doctors, um, doctors, lawyers, they also need the knowledge of accounting in order to make a decision. For example, to increase the product price or shut down an operations. So those are important decisions that must relate to accounting data. And also to evaluate the performance and also indicate any implications for the financing of the organizations in order for them to choose a plan or to choose a project or another and these are the employment opportunities that you could have in the future for a public accountant or become a private accountant also the government accountants or you can become just like me an educators um, public accountants means that you are offering services uh, to the general public for a fee you charge a certain fee whereby you provide auditing or tax services accounting services um, but you, you need a license to do that um, you have a, to be a certified public accountant Private accountants whereby you are employed by the organizations. Uh, so you may become a management accountant or cost controller or internal auditors uh, or simply accounting assistants uh, in, in accounting department. A government accountant may where you are employed by federal agency or local authority still in accounting department. So in summary, your accounting carry opportunities can be in terms of, for, in terms of public accounting or private accounting or in government. So public accounting can be comprised, can be in the field of auditing or taxations or even the management consulting services that can be done to the general public. For the private accounting depends whether you are posting which field whether you will be posting at the cost accounting department or do the budgeting or in, in fact for the accounting information system or it can be in the field of decisions. For the government, uh, you can also have a career in uh, Lembaga Hassel Dalam Negeri or even the Security Commissions of Bursa Malaysia or even the public universities. Uh, so those are part of the government's uh, career opportunities. And another one uh, nowadays uh, uh, becoming more popular, um, forensic accounting, where you are using the accounting, auditing, and also investigating skill to conduct an investigations into a theft or fraud. Because forensic accounting also uh, Serve as services from the accounting firm, so the private accounting firm. So you can um, be in that field for the accounting. Okay, that's all for now. Watch out for the next video uh, of the FAR 110 lecture series. Bye bye.